<laughs> my name is Delilah from Spanish in Atlanta. Welcome. We're going to talk about vowels, Spanish vowels. But before we get started, I want to say something that's very important and that so many of you do not know. I want you to remember that natives of any language are just honored that you're making an effort to learn a language you don't have to learn. There are they admire the fact that you're getting out of your comfort zone and that you're making an effort to communicate. That's what all of us humans really want, isn't it? We want to make human contact, genuine connections. We use language for this purpose. And we need to remember that language is a tool that allows us to make these beautiful connections. So worrying about pronunciation, verb conjugations, grammar is ridiculous. Nobody cares. Natives are just happy to get to know you, and again, they're honored that you're making an effort. So don't worry and don't stress over it. We are going to work on having high standards, of course, but honor where you are right now. Always make sure that when you talk to a native, you give your heart and your soul within the words. Words are the vessels that carry our heart, our soul, our thoughts, and we download them onto other people's brains. <laughs> So keep in mind that that's the most important thing. It's very important to communicate with beautiful, healthy, positive energy. That's what people are attracted to and that's what people really want. All right, so Spanish vowels, what's the big deal here? They are super powerful, so important. I can't tell you how important they are. Spanish vowels are like the five strings of a guitar. If a guitar has no strings, there's no beautiful music that can be made. Same thing happens here. The quality of your vowels will determine the quality and the beauty of the words that you create with this beautiful musical instrument that you have. Your mouth is a musical instrument, the instrument that you use to create these sounds and the music and the rhythm that goes with them. So Spanish vowels are very simple and straightforward. They don't change. This right here is always going to be ah, ah, ah. Nice, bright, beautiful sound. Anytime that you see this vowel over here, it's always the same thing. It doesn't change. If it's in the beginning, in the middle, or at the end of the word, same thing. The more you hang out with this stuff, the more it becomes a part of you. So give yourself that time. Just like when you cook a pot roast, you can't uh, fast forward the cooking here, or else the pot roast is not going to be as delicious. You have to give a good pot roast, I don't know, uh, 8 to 10 hours, right? Same thing with Spanish, you have to take your time. The most important sounds in all Spanish words are the vowels. Consonants are there to create a beautiful crunch and the balance. So this is always going to be A. Ah. We have E. We have E. O. U. And there are lots of things you can do to practice. You have A. Ah. E. E. O, U. You can do something like this, or when you're driving to and from work, you can actually look at the license plates and try to pick out those vowels that you see and try to remember what sounds they create. Each time you pluck one of these, what's the sound that you're going to get? Do you get A, E, I, O, or U? One other thing about Spanish vowels, there's so much, but I'm going to try to just give you a brief uh, summary here. <laughs> Uh, Spanish vowels are pretty much identical to Italian, uh, German, and Japanese. Believe it or not, they have a, e, i, o, u as well. Uh, there are very slight variances, but it's practically the same thing. Don't forget that the words that we know and the words that you're going to learn are musical representations of the images that we see every day. Whenever you're working on pronunciation or reading Spanish, this is one of the most important things to consider because your pronunciation and your reading will be based on this. There is a part two to uh, pronunciation, of course, which I'll be posting later. I hope that this is helpful. And uh, what I wrote over here is an example of what you can do for yourself. Uh, I plan on putting more videos here and then hopefully you'll be able to test yourself and get a little support. Uh, when you look at these, Im these vowels, try to remember the sound. You have E, I, O, A, I. O, A, I, E, A. You want to build speed and agility. 
It's important that you let this knowledge sink in. Let your brain digest it. Let your brain chew this so that it stays with you for as long as you want. Again, I'm Delilah from Spanish in Atlanta, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>